Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of my sins and offenses that I've done against you or those that you love. Father, I glorify your holy name because you are good, you are kind, and you are gracious to us. Thank you, Father God, for the start of this new week. Thank you for fresh beginnings. Thank you for new perspectives. Thank you for working in our lives to transform us, to renew us, to restore us. Father, your son's work on the cross, we are eternally grateful. We are grateful for the forgiveness that you offer to us each and every day. We are grateful for your mercy. Thank you, Father God, for loving us so much that you sent your Son to pay the ultimate price for our sins. Thank you for preparing a way for our salvation. And thank you, Father God, because you are our refuge in the time of storm. You are our safe place, our haven place, Lord, when things get rough, when things are easy, when things are tough. You are our shelter. Thank you because you are a friend to us and you are faithful to us. Father, I ask that you will be with those who are hurting. They hurt for various reasons, Lord, whether their own doing or the doing of somebody else, Lord, or whether it's just life circumstances. I ask you that you will wrap your loving arms around them. Give them peace and give them joy. Restore their faith if they are losing their faith, Lord. Help them to learn to trust you in every aspect, in every area of their life. Father, for those who are grieving, you are near to the brokenhearted. You are near to the ones who are in sorrow. You are near to the ones who are hurting. Wrap your arms around them too, Lord. Comfort them guide them, show them your presence, allow them to feel your endless mercy, your endless love. Father, I ask that you will be with all of the marriages that are struggling. You know that Satan is attacking our families like never before, because a broken family means a broken church. A broken church means a broken body of Christ. Father God, strengthen our marriages. Allow husbands to lead their wives and their families. Allow wives, Lord, to look to you for their counsel, to look to you for wisdom. Allow us, Father, to learn how to communicate with each other and with our children. Father, you have, for many of us, given us children to raise. They're not ours, they're yours. And so I ask you for special wisdom in working with, in training, in raising the children that you have entrusted to us. Father God, I ask that you will guide us and direct us in this devotional. Lead us, Lord, and teach us what you want us to learn. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Fulfill Your Duty and Go the Extra Mile. It was written by Omar Alejandro Nunez and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. It was taken from the book Mesa de Fe, page 30. Our biblical base today comes from Luke chapter 5, verses 17 through 20. So says the word of God. Now it happened on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by who had come out of every town of Galilee, Judea, and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Then behold, men brought on a bed a man who was paralyzed, whom they sought to bring in and lay before him. And when they could not find out how they might bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the housetop and let him down with his bed through the tiling into the midst before Jesus. 
when he saw their faith, he said to him, Man, your sins are forgiven you. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. There is a well-known saying, As you give, you receive. We often act out of duty, either by moral obligation or civil laws, but many times, surprisingly, we do so without expecting anything in return, and sometimes we do much more. Same was the case of the paralytic story in the Bible. His friends offered their time and effort. I don't know if they owed him any favors. I don't know if they were family. What I do know is that they did more than others would have done. They did not care about the crowd, the height of the house, or the extra effort such a challenge presented to them, because their conviction of obligations and duty went further. Because of their actions, the Lord Jesus saw their faith. Likewise, the servant of Naaman's wife did her duty by sharing the word of God, which turned the life of Naaman. That's found in Second Kings chapter 5. Let's imitate these great examples by not only doing our duty, but going the extra mile. Amen. My brothers and sisters, what a beautiful reminder that as followers of Christ, as Christians, we do our duty, what is expected of us, but we're also encouraged to go the extra mile, to do more than what is expected of us, because in that, we show our faith. In that, we show the light of Jesus, who went way, of, way above the extra mile on the cross of Calvary. He went way above any sacrifice that anybody else has ever done for us, and he died on the cross for our sins. May we have the concept of what it is to go the extra mile for people, especially when they don't expect it, especially when they don't see it coming, because in that, we open the doors to be able to share our faith when we go the extra mile to help out somebody in need. They'll start to look at us and wonder what is different, and that is going to open up the doors for us to speak about Christ and how he went the extra mile for us. It is us living out our testimonies. We are being a living testimony for the work of God, for the kingdom. So fulfill your duty, my brothers and sisters, and go the extra mile. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.
Amen, what a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.